Okay, so story time on how I found out my baby daddy had a baby by the name. So, so hey everyone, I am the neighbor. I'm here to put my two cents in and yeah, clear up, some, make some little clarities around these motherfuckers. Anyway, so we gonna get into why his baby mamas always gotta post our situation on social media platforms. I don't, I don't get it. Y'all have a child, all right? Now they were divorced because she went to the, the extra mile to get the divorce because whatever they had going on in their household. So yeah, she went to the extra mile, got the divorce. Yeah, signed the papers, everything. So the day the baby's fine. Me and him, yeah. We picked up real tight. That's my boy. So boom, 10 months in, find out I'm pregnant. Boom, on top of me being pregnant. Prior to me even getting pregnant, hey, that January, December, January, after we came from out of town, he had went back with her. I, that ain't my business. You do what you want to do. You grown as man. You do what you want to do. So, boom, we still got our dealings. I ended up pregnant. So, my baby get here, and um, her sister-in-law was like, well, I, they been saying that such and such a daddy, and he is. <laughs> Stand on it. Ain't nobody gonna put my ass about it. I'm not gonna do that. So boom. Yeah. So then sister law tell me that she expecting too. Congratulations. See, y'all get a different energy. I'm not mad. Congratulations. I'm like, yeah, y'all do y'all. I don't care. So boom. In the midst of her about to have her baby, however it went, she find out my baby is baby. So she get the text in my phone. But what? I don't do none of that. I responded, but we're gonna keep it at that. Yeah, because I'm too, I'm gone. Ain't no, I was in the house scared. Yeah, that man ain't never tell me to send house because she wanted to beat me up another day another day i got too many assault charges to be in the house scared too many i run up like skittles too many and so she couldn't get the text to me talking about something he said he gonna get a dna test i'm delusional this didn't third all right do what y'all do he gonna tell you what he want to tell you just thing your draws baby see i yeah i get it so hey if you gonna get dna for one make sure you get dna for two because you'll never have the ups on me i'm gonna always be top tier poop say son this really the weirdest generation ever dog i've never come across so many young people that just just love to be center of attention because here's the thing the lady i'm not i didn't watch the original video but i don't think she actually exposed this woman's identity so you took it up on yourself to expose your identity which we didn't know who you were like oh my god bro hey this is side chick behavior though like some of these women come from a long lineage of side chicks like their mom their mother was never the main chick so they were destined to be side chicks and look at this parading around throwing this in a woman's face that you was sleeping with her husband not a man got a baby with you. and if you know like i know just judging off what i seen man i hope you got a paternity test because it's it's a strong possibility that that kid might not even be yours honestly let's be real i told y'all i wasn't finished i told y'all that i was going to piss everyone off tonight so now we're going to get to the women there are too many of y'all out there who want a husband but don't want to be a wife and again if it don't apply let it fly but so many of y'all get caught up in the aesthetic of marriage that is sold to y'all on social media y'all confuse use reality TV with real life. Everybody wants a big, beautiful wedding. Everybody wants the pictures. Everybody wants to be the blushing bride, but nobody actually gives any thought to what comes after that. You said you wanted a man that was going to protect and provide. Okay, boom, you got one. Now what? What do you do all day while he's out protecting and providing? Are you turning the house that he gave you into a home? Are you nurturing and educating his children? Are you making sure that he has a safe space to come home to after spending all day defending himself against the outside world? Or do you spend all day gossiping on the phone and scrolling on social media while the television raises your children? Are you waiting for him to come home so you can start complaining about the things you saw other women with on social media that you wish you had? Why is it that black women have the highest rate of divorce? Is it just because they're bad wives? Absolutely not, because they're the ones initiating the divorce 90% of the time. So what is it? Statistics say it's irreconcilable differences and financial constraint. So basically, he's not doing what you want him to do and he's not making enough money for you. Should you be forced to struggle for your whole life? Absolutely not. But if you made a commitment for better or worse, why is it that at the first sign of a little bit of difficulty, you out the door? So many women out there don't know how to be supportive without being enabling, but then want to turn around and get upset with the monster that they created. Y'all are so busy trying to live this life that y'all seen on social media that y'all end up destroying the one that you actually have. Everybody wants to be treated like a queen. Absolutely. As you should, sis. But what is the role of the queen in chess? She is the most powerful piece on the board. And what does she do with that power? She uses it to protect her king while he's out there trying 
trying to get checkmate. She is his support. She is his right hand. So if you are only focused on what he can do for you and not how you can support him, you are clearly not ready to be a queen. Now, this woman broke this down logically. This is some real stuff. Women are not going into marriage wanting to be a real wife, man. It's really the idea. It's like that big party you throw, the wedding, the reception. That's really what they want. But bro, the actual day to day of being a wife, come on, man. That's not that's not really what they going in there trying to do, bro. And men already display this, man. You find a good brother, dog. He's already being a husband in you before he even put the ring on. Like, they got dudes that's paying bills for these women. They're protecting these women, putting their lives at risk for these women. And they're being faithful to these women. That's already a husband. Because, look, dude, a lot of men, let's say I'm paying all the bills. I'm taking care of everything. I'm a leader and I'm a provider. But this woman ain't acting like no wife. She's telling me, you get that once I get the ring. That would make me a simp. That's what that's what a simp is a simp is a man who's doing everything for this woman and he doesn't he doesn't get any benefits from doing so that's a simp i just read an article about why women are happier after divorce and i wanted to share this was based on a study by kingston university they surveyed 10,000 people between the ages of 16 and 60. participants were asked to rate their happiness before and after divorce they found that women were happier and more satisfied with their lives after divorce so why is this it said women are more likely than men to seek help for the emotional trauma caused by divorce. Not reaching out for support prolongs your suffering. It also mentions that women are more likely than men to surround themselves with a positive support system. P.S. If you're a woman who needs a support system, come join my private support group. It also mentioned that women are less likely to turn to substances to cope with the you know, trauma and emotional fallout of divorce. Women are also more likely to prioritize their needs and seek out experiences that enrich their lives. So make sure you're getting support, prioritizing your needs, surrounding yourself with a good support system and doing things to fulfill yourself. Now I got my suspicions on why a lot of women are happier on average than men are once they get divorced. And I'm gonna go with my move on this one. Uh, maybe it's because she's getting alimony, child support, full custody of the kids, the house if they have at that half of that man's 401k any assets that he purchased while they was married yeah that's probably why they're happier and the man has to start his life over financially from scratch that's probably why women are more happy but here's the thing i don't actually believe these women are happy and this is going to be anecdotal i love when y'all disagree with me in the comments i ain't gonna hold you but i know about seven guys in real life in my age demographic whose wives are their lives are their ex-wives let me say that their lives are spiraling out of control one of my homeboys is what Kevin Samuels would be, consider a true definition of a high value male. His income keeps growing. His new wife is even prettier than the old one. And the old wife, she's a fucking loser. It is what it is. Her life is not going the way she wanted it to go. And guess what? She cheated on that man. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. I cannot take that. I can't take no more. I can't take no more. Man, I'm sick of these hoes. I'm so sick of these hoes. I can't take no more. I can't be a hero, I can't, I can't say the hoes